I'm Madison. I recently spent half my savings from the previous year working two part-time jobs for something I've been dreaming of. A van. Yes, there's my baby. I'm a single female who knows little about vehicles. This van requires a lot of work and a bit of a facelift. I'm on a time crunch to get it done by the end of the summer before I leave on my big trip. But will I be able to overcome the problems this van throws at me? Come along with me and let's find out. Good morning guys. It is freezing cold here in Virginia. It is only like 37 degrees right now. So I have a little heater running and the van. I have a day off because it was so cold I couldn't even go into work because they canceled. I work at a golfing place so like if it's too cold the golfers cancel. So we have the paint here, we have the cabinet paint, we have the primer for the stain and then we have the primer for the paint. It's so cold that I don't want to attempt to paint and then mess it all up. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to take a piece of cabinet, probably from the back, and try to paint on the primer and then the paint. And then we're going to do one where we just paint on the paint without the primer and see if there's any difference. Because I don't want to paint the whole place with primer and then there's no difference. So we're going to do that and hopefully the heater in here will warm everything up so it's not going to be super cold. Right now my hands are a little freezing these like towel holders I will never hang up a towel in there if I need to dry out a towel just use these little hooks so I'm probably gonna take those off I try to unscrew the bottom maybe the top will come undone because I've tried hammering it a knife Hitting it, unscrewing it, everything, like it's not working. Hoping that if I screw the bottom, then I wiggle it and the top knob will come off. But we will see. Fun fact, um, I hate this cover. And I'm gonna see if we can take it off so we can put a new cover on or if we can just get rid of the whole thing because it is so ugly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew this and this and if it does come off great that's awesome if it doesn't then crap we're gonna have to find out a way to cover this because there's stains all over it it looks disgusting oh my gosh guys it's literally just like a piece of foam huh wow okay I don't think it's to insulate it because look, I mean, it could be to insulate it because it's got this stuff on it. I thought it was just a cover. I'll make sure this little fabric doesn't insulate the fridge because if it does, then I need to find a fabric cover. But if it doesn't, then we're gonna do stainless steel cover. You can see just how rusted out the fridge really is. It's all rusty. And really ugly looking so we're gonna go ahead and take these out and sand paint them and then put them back in so I know we're not leveled but I don't even think the vans leveled right now um first thing before we get started on anything is protection so we are going to I am going to be wearing an M95 mask while painting and I have gloves too so I don't get anything on me um, we got a metal brush to scrub the rust off while I'm wearing the mask because I don't want any of that toxic stuff getting in my lungs. Um, we got the Erling Silver metallic finish that we're going to use for the metal racks in the fridge. We got some goggles because I do not want any of this stuff from my eyes. Like, guys, always use so much protection when you're doing this stuff because you do not want to get metal in your lungs, metal in your eyes, none of that, especially rust. Like, that's just so, like, bad for you. The guy that I talked to told me to just use a sand block um, after the rush, the rest brush. So that's what we're gonna do. So also just notice there's this huge, huge crack right there in the door of the fridge, and I have no idea how I'm gonna fix that. So <sighs> we're gonna scrub this rust right out of here. So let's do this. Okay guys, so it's 
actually looking a lot better than it did. You guys can see it's actually really smooth now. Yay! I'm gonna go over it for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna see if we can spray paint it. Be right back. Okay guys, hey, it is the next day and I have, I just washed off these, the racks and now we are ready to finally spray paint them. So I got rust, rust avoid spray and it's raining sort of, so I'm gonna throw it in the van as soon as I get done spraying them. So let's do this. Also, day isn't the ideal day to do it, but I don't know when else to do it. So we're just gonna do it right now. First round of paint is gonna dry and then I'm gonna do the second round. Um, I hate it's raining. Like, I've been trying to do this all week and it hasn't been raining, but today it's said to rain. We are gonna do the second coat as soon as the rain stops, but while that's happening, let's go ahead and clean inside of this fridge because it looks so bad. Yeah, it's really dark in here. So we'll go ahead Cut on the lights so you guys can see. There's like literally so many lights in here. Um, we gotta get that cleaned up because that looks disgusting. This detergent soap with a scrubby and a butter knife. Okay, after some serious scrubbing, I finally got it all clean. You guys can see just how much better that's looking. That's looking like a million times better. Well, thanks for trying it, Jake. Yeah, we'll get the bigger one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was another long day of work at my job, so I didn't get to really work on the van tonight, but Jake and me tried cut cutting the fridge part out, the stainless steel cover, I got it low today. It did okay with the wire cutters, but that's just gonna be excruciating for no reason. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the bigger one tomorrow. So I've got work again tomorrow, and Jacob's gonna go to West Virginia. Time for a test run. Oh yeah, I can definitely cut. And that's that's just as straight as we need it because we don't, I mean, it does have to be perfect because it'll be yeah. behind that corner. It's gonna be fun to want a straight line that far. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to see if we can do the whole thing with a straight line. Well, Jake's gonna try to see because I'm not doing anything, but <laughs> I'll stand here and watch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good gracious, that was like fireworks going on. That was aggressive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh yeah, but look how clean that is. That is very clean. I just hope it's straight enough. A little yeah. bit of burn. A little bit of burn, but the good thing is that's gonna be on the side. So. Yeah, oh man, that's hot. <laughs> I was I'm sure it's hot. So we cut off that big of a chunk. Pretty big. All right guys, we'll try to see if it can slide in and if it doesn't slide in, worst case scenario is we have to cut it, like just trim it down a little, but I think it's gonna fit because I sized it and so I probably sized it like three times. So let's see if this works. <laughs> 
Hey, look, you don't even have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Had to put the camera down. Some serious action was up. <laughs> Guys, look how good that looks. Looks so much better than that piece of cloth that used to be on there. Now all we need to do is go to Low Samara. We're gonna get a nice piece of um, the top sober metal. We're gonna put on this. Once we paint these cabinets white, it's gonna look like an actual kitchen and we put a little tiling above the sink and around there. So, be really nice. Big thanks to Jake for mm -hmm. cutting the, the no stainless steel. So he doesn't die in a few years from all breathing in those toxins. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Guys, today is finally the day you can see how pale I look because I haven't had a spray tan in a while. It's 60 degrees outside, so it's a perfect day to wash up some cabinets and get started with the paint. Okay guys, so back here is completely covered, the seats, so we don't have to worry about getting paint on them. Then after we find out what to do with all of that stuff, we'll get started with the painting. I'm like so excited to start painting in here. I feel like it's gonna really brighten it up. Everything's going really well with the paint. Here is what we got so far. This is the side that has been done. And back here, I tried straightening up for you guys, but it still looks pretty bad. So this is the side that has been done, and this is the side that has not been done. So we have a much, much darker tone over here than we do over here. I know I've got all that garbage on top, but I really like how bright this is compared to this side, you know? Now that I've done the first layer on that one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first layer on these, and then we're gonna hopefully do the second code by tonight. It's 6.40, guys. We're running out of time, and we need to get going. See how this looks. So far, I really like it, guys. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's... It looks a lot better than it did, so I'm excited. I'm gonna finish this, the camera's dying, so goodbye. You can tell it's been a while. There's leaves on the trees. <laughs> okay guys, I am here to give you guys a little update. I have actually taken the span of something that was supposed to be a two week, maybe three week project and made it pretty much a month project. This is the van so far. It looks the exact same on the outside, but the difference is, guys, it's been raining and foggy and cold here, so I haven't been able to do much. But, let's see. 
We have got most of the cabinets done. Really excited. Um, you can see this beautiful white. And then I got some knobs on here that I thought looked really nice and fitting. And then this is our first layer. So we haven't done a second layer on these cabinets. That's our second layer. And these over here are our third layer paint and they are done and ready to go. And I'm so happy we kept the texture of it so it still looks like cabinets and not just a slab of paint. I'm working two jobs and it's been bad weather and I just had to finish up all my finals for school. Good thing is though, the finals are over with and I have graduated and uh, weather is looking much better now that we're out of the first two weeks of May. And um, now that I have the right equipment, I'm ready to finish up this van. Really exciting news, we've got the flooring. I'll have to show you guys that. I'm so excited about the flooring just because it's been, it's been a process picking it out, but we finally decided to go with vinyl. I'm so freaking tired of painting, so I went ahead and bought some um, textured wallpaper to make it look a little expensive in the bathroom. I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up painting the last layer of paint and then tomorrow we are going to start fresh with the wallpaper and take up all this crap and then we're gonna see what we can do next. Okay, I gotta get going. I will see you guys in a little bit.